Here we go, guys. I'm going to try this voiceover again. I'm not having luck with my uh, computer today. It keeps freezing up on me. So I have some circle tape down, and I am spraying indoors again, spray paint, silver spray paint. I have stopped doing this since, so no need to yell. I, I, I am stopping. I don't want to die. So, um, yeah, I am just spraying silver right over that silver tape or over the, excuse me, circle tape, you're going to get essentially two videos out of this uh, one page. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, I'm just peeling off the, the tape, and it left behind that cool texture. I wanted to do something water-soluble that would soak into that raw paper, um, but I didn't. I went in with acrylic paint. So, of course, you know the color combination I went in with. Teal and pink. So, so far nothing's freezing up. I have faith that this will work. I had this page completely done, the video completely done, completely ready to upload. I had it narrated and everything, and I woke up this morning and thought, I hate this page. There's no way I'm putting this out. So, yeah. And it was only like three minutes long. I'm like, well, you know something's wrong when your video is three minutes long. And I had only sped it up two times. So I'm like, mm, this is not a five-minute art journal page. This is not cool. So uh, this is some blue dilutions, uh, the London blue. And uh, it mixed nicely with those colors. And I liked it. You have to just realize that it um, just sits on top of the spray paint and the acrylic. Uh, so if you add any amount of moisture, it's not just going to ghost like regular, if it were just on paper, it's going to lift up and actually come off. So uh, I'm using India ink here to write a big long message, and I'd love to read it to you, but I've since covered it up. So it says, I think it says, you are the creator of your own art and reality. Something. Never... Never let anyone something. I don't know why I just don't wait a minute and then read it all to you at the end. Which I, I will do now. I shall now wait. So yeah, I, I I didn't hate this page. I just didn't like it enough to put it out there the way it was. Um, I liked the message. Um, and I love the colors, obviously. I just It, it just felt very basic. I don't know. I just wasn't crazy about it. I'm not overly nuts about how it ended up anyway, but it's better than what it was. So, Okay, so it says you're the creator of your own art and reality. Never let anyone else tell you differently. It's your imagination and talent which creates your, your own, oh, your world. And then it says live your own Wait for it. Art Pop. The new album. I'm listening to the song over there, and I had a big, tall glass of sweet tea uh, vodka on the other side. So this is how it looked at the end, and I told you I am not crazy about it. So we're going to keep going. We're going to cover this bad boy up. Like I said, this would have been the end of the video, but I'm like, mm -mm, I don't like this. So, yeah, here we go. But look at how pink that is. Boy, that's vibrant. I'm taking a little bit of white acrylic gesso, it's Liquitex, and some silver paint. The silver doesn't really show up because I mixed it with the gesso, so it really just looks more like a grayish white. That's okay, whatever. Adding more silver. Goodbye, beautiful colors. So now, because all those colors, except for the London Blue, were acrylic or spray, uh, spray paint, they're not. They're just going to get covered up. The dilutions, however, get get reactivated with this, so it starts tinting it blue, um, which I'm fine with. I don't, I don't care. That's fine. So I didn't cover up everything. Obviously, I just kind of scraped some on. I used the rest of that gesso on some iCads and uh, another art journal page. So going back in with some dilutions, and I am just pouring it straight out onto the page. And then spraying the page down with water. 
and letting it run all the boot. I said a boot, like for my Can Canadians. A eh? We were watching a movie the other night, and I'm like, oh, you can spot a Canadian actor a mile away. They just can't get rid of that a boot. It's a boot. A boot. Why do they say that? I don't know. It's cute. What's the other word they say funny? Sorry. They say sorry. That cracks me up. I'm sorry. Oh, boy, you're Canadian, aren't you? It's not a bad thing. I totally live in Canada. Montreal. I'd like to live in Montreal. Bet you'll never guess why. It's like little France. I love France. I will go there one day. So I started mopping up the colors with that uh, paper towel, and I thought, hey, that's very, very wasteful. So then I started mopping it up with some iCads. I'm just dabbing it on, trying to soak up all that excess, smushing it all around. Then I left in something that I've done this before. Um, not my favorite technique, but if you're not crazy about the the colors of dilutions, if you like more pastel colors, this is a really fun technique to try. Um, so wait for that. That's coming up. And this is just a star stencil that I cut out with my Cricut, and it's just a piece of uh, overhead transparency. And the teal color shine. These color shines over top of dilutions, they're both water based, and the color shine blends in a lot with the dilutions. So it ends up just looking more ghosted um, than it does actually looking teal. So that's okay, it added another layer of colors. So, And of course, I'm mopping it up on the iCAD. I really love these iCads because, seriously, it's perfect for mopping the stuff. I know I've said this a thousand times. And for those of you who don't know what iCAD is, it's index card a day. You just use little index cards. They're like 50 cents for 100 at the store. And just create little tiny pieces of art. So this is a blank index card. I sprayed it down with water. This is the paper towel. I sprayed that down with water to reactivate it. And then I'm grabbing my craft iron and just heating it up. And what it does is it transfers a lot of that color from the paper towel to the index card. And it creates a more pastel version of those colors. And as you can tell, the color is still intense on the paper towel, so you can still use the paper towel and glue that down if you want to, but then you've transferred some more of that color. So it's just another way of getting even more out of your, your uh, wasted, quote-unquote, wasted colors on your uh, paper towels. So I'm just going with this uh, peacock feather, and I used the tinsel color swap here, or er, color shine by Heidi Swap Color Swap. Um, and again, it's just so light. I was hoping it'd be more opaque, but it wasn't. So, yeah, you can barely see it. We'll remedy that momentarily. See? Told you. Dilutions. Black. And then I always flip my stencils over on another page or an iCAD or something. And a lot of times I'll brayer them as well, uh, brayer the stencil so that way it really has contact in most spots. So I'm going back in with this star stencil, and this is a homemade white acrylic spray. And this paper has, or the dilutions have not been sealed, so what the acrylic does is it reactivates the dilutions again and again creates kind of a ghosted effect once it dries because you'll see it starts bringing that color back up and once it dries there you go and at this point right before this I took the the book and I sprayed it I covered it up with um, that sealer the matte sealer so that way when I wrote on it with the white acrylic it would not um, it wouldn't pull those colors through and I didn't like how this was looking so check it spray it down with water because it was sealed Nothing moves, but you get to to wipe it all away. So that's the nice thing about sealing your pages when you're using uh, those all those water-based products. So I tried using my Mon Montana pen, but I hadn't let the the sealer dry completely. It was like 
five minutes before I did this, so um, it was kind of picking up the sealer. Like, it was almost kind of gummy because it wasn't dry underneath. It had dried on top, but not underneath. So, instead of using my Montana pen, which has a really hard nib, I've told you guys about this before in previous videos. I love this pen, but again, it's got that really hard nib, so it, it tends to dent up the paper a lot. So I pulled this back out, this uh, needle-tipped bottle. I'm trying to get as detailed as I can with it. And then I thought this was perfect, perfect for this page, that I did not love this page. Because I covered up a page that I wasn't crazy about. But the nice thing is, because I didn't cover it completely, I didn't like completely regesso it, you can still see some of the layers. You can see some of the handwriting um, underneath. You can see some of that hot, hot pink acrylic popping through in areas. Uh, so... Yeah, it's cool. It just adds a few extra layers of dimension. So don't be afraid to cover up something you've done. Because if you don't like it, you might as well cover it up. I thought it was funny that I wrote, you can always cover up an ugly page, and ugly came out really ugly. I mean, you know, I'm not crazy about any of my handwriting, but ugly in particular came out ugly. So... And it says, no page is beyond help. So that pretty much concludes it for the Y page. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will see you for the Z page. We're winding down. And the Z page is already done. So, And I like it. So I hope you like it too. See you all soon. Bye.